Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com. I want to show you how you can control Ableton Live via an electronic drum pad plugged into your sound card. Maybe you want to skip through scenes or maybe you want to skip locators, maybe turn the metronome on and off. All possible now with my new Max for Live device, actually devices, because there is more than one just device. Okay, let me show you how to set this up quickly. So let's say you have one of those or a BT1, an old drum pad, you might have a spare one and you just want to use this one to control stuff, not to trigger sounds. So you can just plug this into your sound card if you have a spared jack in. Uh, make sure to turn off the phantom power. It shouldn't uh, bring phantom power through here, but just to make sure, turn the phantom power off, set the gain to the lowest value you have. That's really important because you don't want to harm your external sound card input with this. Okay, so let's plug it into the my sound card, my external audio interface. So I have an audio track here. I select the input here where I have this pad now on. So you can see it's already coming through. Um, you want to set the monitor to in so it's always being routed into this track and you want to turn the track off because you don't want this to go out or to the front of house or to your monitors. So you can see now in the device here at the bottom, which is sitting on here, the audio trigger to remote action device, you can see the hits I'm making here and you can see you have a threshold meter here or threshold uh, value you can set. So if I'm now playing really quiet, you can see it's not going over, over the threshold so it wouldn't trigger the action. So what you wanna do is, your gain is really low and you want to play as hard as you are playing usually to trigger it and then you will see the highest point here. So let's set the threshold a bit lower, bam, you know, and this way only when you're passing above the threshold when hitting um, the remote action will be triggered. So this is really important because like you can see here now on this old drum pad, it's working like a microphone now, so it will pick up um, surround now other noises, so maybe some crosstalk stuff here. So you have another option here where you can set the hold time, which means um, the time before a next trigger, a next audio will be can be triggered. So if you're getting double triggering here, set this, just set this a little bit higher. Okay, so now we are ready to set a remote action and you can see you have quite a lot of parameters you can select here. So you can tap the tempo, you can switch the metronome on off, start and stop the transport and what I think is really exciting for a lot of people, fire selected scene, you can step through scenes here. Um, you have a few more options here, but let's go through maybe just the metronome. So let's start the transport and now you can see if I'm hitting and the threshold needs to be set a little bit lower. So let's start this. You can hear the metronome now and now it's off. Now it's on. Okay, easy. So let's do this with the fire selected scene. So my first scene is selected here. So let's switch the metronome off and you can see now. I can just step through. Ableton live set and yes it's doing that for locators left locators right as well so you can set up more pads here and have one for going one locator left one locator right if you're in arrangement view so um, you can use different pads here obviously as well so a BT1 would be a really nice pad to use here because it's not uh, getting so much uh, crosstalk from 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 the outside. Okay, so this device is now available as part of a pack with three more devices because you might want to control something else here and for this you would need some different devices. So for example, if you want to switch a track or device on and off, you might want to do this with the audio trigger to map device here. So let's set this up real quick so I need to set the threshold right set the threshold a little bit lower okay I'm getting the action now or the trigger to action now and this will always toggle between the maximum and the minimum value of a parameter so let's map this to don't know a on and off speaker on and off switch here so now when I'm hitting this 
it toggles between on and off maximum and lowest value minimum value of this parameter you might want to control stuff a little bit different let's say you want to control a volume fader maybe between 20 and 80 percent um, of the volume so let's take this one um, audio trigger to map minimum value maximum value you can set those here so let's set those to around 20 and around 80 so now it will be toggling between those two preset values actually okay so let's set this up let's map this to a volume fader so you can see now 80 percent 20 percent so you can toggle through this there is one more device which is a map device as well and you can set it to one value only so if you want to map something to go in a specific part or somewhere always to this value you can use this device here as well so this is a whole pack four devices head over um, links are in the video description to check it out and to check out more info about it and have fun enjoy playing and making music cheers